Who in here uh, is related to a veteran? Okay. Who knows a veteran? <laughs> it's pretty much everyone. Well, that's actually pretty good. I was born on Veterans Day. <laughs> that, no, that does. That counts. That's really good. So it puts you a step closer. So hire a hero. Some of the things we do, we help to bridge the gap between active duty component, reserves, veterans, right? We take them and we move them into, you know, this really crazy world called civilian employment. I'll tell you, it is crazy because you speak a different language. Uh, you use different four-letter words than we use in some cases. You have different styles of management and leadership. And so we help them to do that. Uh, we also translate those weird letters. Who's read a military resume? You've seen them, right? Pretty much everybody in here. How easy was it? Did you go through Google? Did you go to Google? Military.com? Did you, did you phone a friend, call that, one, that relative that you have? Hey, what does this mean? What is HVT? What does that even mean? So that's what we help to do. We teach them those weird words, that language that is civilian, that we kind of take for granted being in the civilian sector. Um, and then we also go ahead and help them because they are coming from a selfless service and oftentimes a thankless service. What does that mean? It means that they haven't been taught how to brand themselves properly. They haven't been taught how to sell themselves properly. And so we teach them to do some of those things to where they, when they do communicate with you guys, with your peers, that they can properly tell you, well, these are the things I did. We didn't just jump out of airplanes and throw hand grenades, but I did this, and this is how it applies directly to this business. Okay, so those of you who said, yes, I've seen a military resume before, did it look something like this? Infantry successfully performed 100 CPs during deployment. Outside wire secured 15 HVTs, 50 KIAs, delivered AARs to the BC. Now, I'm not making this up, this stuff happens. Now what this actually says, and you may have thought command post, sir, but that, that was something a little bit different. So successfully performed 100 combat patrols during deployment outside of the wire. So it's normally a 12 month period. Secured 15 high value targets and 50, well, we've all seen movies, KIE, you know what that means. Budgets you would not believe, actually you might. I have 25 year olds that are coming out that have literally controlled 1 million plus dollars budgets. They had check writing capabilities for 1 million dollars or more. Some of you in this room may have that ability too. But I wonder if you had it at 24, 25. So a little bit, it's kind of interesting, right? This interviews in general, and I'll just break the rules here. This is how they look in the, uh, in the military, okay? You hit a, hit a door, you walk in, you immediately post up and say, sir, ma'am, whomever it is, Marshall McLeod reporting for duty. You walk up to their desk, they ask you to about face. And the reason they do this is because they're looking at the base of your shoes, which is strange. You also think sometimes, did I do enough squats this week? But anyways, so then you step forward, you post back and sit into a chair, and this is sitting in this position of attention. And you're not allowed to move your eyes left or right, nor lift your hands off your, off your legs. It's kind of strange, right? So when we break into, this is how we have a conversation. This is how you engage in an interview. It's a little tough, right? We've seen movies about military. The military have seen movies about Wall Street. That's not everywhere, right? So they, there's some unrealistic expectations going both directions. Military jargon. It's not only the yes, no, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. It's also the very quick abbreviated statements. In the military, we call this bluff which is funny because it's also an abbreviation, go figure, right? Bottom line up front. And we do this very quickly, we deliver you know, as, as efficiently and effectively as possible because time is so critically valuable because we have to go waste it somewhere else. And oftentimes, we also need this time because at certain moments in that supportive role, what's going on? People's lives are necessarily threatened. I was on an aircraft C-130 that was uh, going several miles per hour and we were supposed to exit out the side of it. Glasses on my face with a little cord tied around there. I jump out of the aircraft, lose my glasses, hit the ground, start hearing, hey airborne, you're running the wrong way. Start getting all my stuff up. So I throw up my arm and I start going, which way? And he says, yes, and I just take off. And of course I get to safety and all that stuff too. But the point is though, is looking for ways to be flexible. And that's just one little fun story because it equals jumping out of an airplane, which is always fun. It's just proof that they're incredibly flexible. They've, they've been asked to stand out in the rain, and I don't want you guys to do this, continue their abuse, but, and then deal with it. They can be uncomfortable in environments that you don't want to ever imagine, and somehow we still do it over and over. How many of them have a plan? When you ask them that silly question that I know that we're forced to ask sometimes as hiring managers, what's your three to five year plan? <laughs> they generally have one. And then they have contingencies built into it because it is dynamic. It's not some sort of linear path that they see. 
because they've been trained to do that. When you start really going after uh, looking to target the individuals to find the places to best market for them, um, this is something you're gonna wanna look at. Look at their other interests or uh, affiliations that they're involved in. If you've got a stellar, we call hard charger, someone that's just great at what they're doing, you wanna hire more of them. Good folks normally hang out with good folks. All right, Allison? Thank you. Do you like? Thank you very much. Hey, no problem.